if anyone takes away your property no matter it is movable or immovable without your permission then whether it is theft or extortion or if anyone is taking your property in front of you without your consent whether it is theft or extortion confused hello everyone i am dr priya sepaha and in this video we are going to discuss about the meaning and difference between theft and extortion theft has been described under section 378 of the indian penal code let's look at the section to understand the meaning of theft according to section 378 of ipc whoever intending to take dishonestly any movable property out of the possession of any person without that person's consent moves that property in order to such taking is said to commit theft now let's understand the section in detail the first ingredient is that any person is taking movable property out of the possession of that person now here the thing which has to be remember is only movable property it doesn't apply to immovable property the second ingredient is that person is taking that property with a dishonest intention now the the intention must be dishonest that that person wants to take that property without the consent of that particular person who owed that property now the third thing is without the consent of that person that means to whom the the property is having a possession he is taking that property without the consent of that person anything so long as it is attached to the earth not being movable property is not the subject of theft but if it becomes capable of being the subject of theft as soon as it is severed from the earth for example if a cuts down a tree on z's ground with the intention of dishonestly taking the tree out of z's possession without z's consent here as soon as a has severed the tree in order to such taking he has committed theft now the next example is related to animal if a person who by any means causes an animal to move is said to move that animal and to move everything which is in consequence of the motion so caused is moved by that animal will be considered as theft now for example if a puts a bait for dog in his pocket and thus induces z's dog to follow it here if a's intention be dishonestly to take the dog out of z's possession without z's consent a has committed theft as soon as z's dog has begun to follow a whereas in the second example as i said that if that particular animal is moving anything which is important to that particular person from whose possession the thing has been taken then also it will be considered as theft for example a meets a bullock carrying a box of treasures he drives the bullock in a certain direction in order that he may dishonestly take the treasure as soon as the bullock begins to move a has committed theft of the treasure so if these ingredients are fulfilled then it is considered as a theft that means any person is taking a property without the consent of a owner with a dishonest intention and that property is movable in nature now the second thing is extortion extortion has been explained under section 383 of indian penal code let's read section 383 first whoever intentionally puts any person in fear of any injury to that person or to any other person and thereby dishonestly induces the person so put in fear to deliver to any person any property or valuable security or anything signed or sealed which may be converted into valuable security commits extortion now let's understand this section in detail first of all here also it is necessary that there must be dishonest intention to take away the property of anyone else secondly in this particular thing that particular property will be taken in front of that person only if we talk about theft 
it is not taken in front of that particular person who possesses that property although in extortion the person used to take that property in front of that person only now the another ingredient is it is necessary that there must be some force or fear always remember force or fear i have already explained the meaning of force and criminal force and the difference between the two and you may look at that particular video also so that sort of force and fear must be implied now the another ingredient is that particular force and fear must be related to some injury now again that injury must be on the person himself from from whom the property is taken or any other person who is very near or very close to him he may be a near parent also acquaintance also or friend also family anyone now here the property could be movable and immovable both now the meaning of movable is which is tangible which can be seen and which can be taken physically immovable means which cannot be taken from the earth and which cannot be taken physically from it from that particular place it can be taken only in the form of any documents or any signature so in this extortion any sort of movable and immovable property can be taken by making that person in fear of the injury of himself also or any near and dear ones so any property any sign any signature which can be converted into a valuable property the punishment of theft has been described under section 379 of the indian penal code and the punishment is imprisonment for 3 years or fine or both and the punishment of extortion has been described under section 384 of ipc for which it may be extended to 3 years and or fine or both so precisely the similarity between theft and extortion is that there must be dishonest intention of taking one's property out of his possession but the difference is in theft the property has been taken without the permission of that person or without the knowledge of that person or without the consent of that person whereas if we talk about extortion it is in front of that person no matter the consent is not there or the consent is taken forcefully or making that person is in fear which type of fear to make, to give a injury to either to that person or any near or dear ones now the another difference is the property which has been taken in theft is always movable whereas if we talk about extortion the property can be movable and immovable both because it can be taken in the way of sign or in the way of any documents also one more factor related to extortion is that particular injury is not at all necessary to be given in front of that person to his near or dear ones that can be there can be threat of giving the injury to that particular person it may be in a form of a injury it may be in a form of a kidnapping in may be in the form of any other offenses on human against human body so that's all about the difference between theft and extortion hope you like the video and if you like it do not forget to hit the like button and subscribe my channel you may also follow us on various social media platforms by the name of law colloquy For detailed notes you may visit to our website that is lawcolloquy.com we are also publishing blogs articles legal news videos and many more thing so that's all for today thank you for watching take care see you soon bye bye